Well, to uh, win two out of three from what I think is one of the better teams in the National League was uh, really special, um, especially after the uh, 17 runs we scored uh, yesterday. It, you kind of expect a letdown, and you don't know what to expect the next day. But the guys battled. We got enough to win. The, to me, the, the, the keys to that game were uh, when uh, well, Knapp obviously hit that double. And Cesar beat out that ground ball to, to second base, which was Hughes. And then, and then uh, we scored there. And um, obviously, that ninth, ninth inning, nice to win on a walk-off. Uh, Hellickson was cruising. His, cr his finger just cramped up. His forearm, he couldn't open his open his hand. I don't think it's anything serious, but uh, after that, when Ben Watt came in, he shut him down that, that next inning. That was really key to the game, uh, as well as as uh, Hellickson was handling their hitters. It was nice to see somebody come in in that sixth inning and do a job, and Neris uh, scared us a little bit, but he uh, really did a good job, uh, the, you know, to get out of that jam. Um, Cesar put the ball in play. We preach. Broken bat single to win the game. Is Jen Mark still going to be your closer? I'm going to have a talk with him tomorrow, and I'll have something for you tomorrow. I, uh, I, ne I need to talk to him. Did you ever see a situation where a pitcher couldn't open his hand? That sounds an unusual injury to me. Well, it's funny because I w between innings, I walked in the, in the tunnel to look at some video, and uh, Rupp was in there, and he said, you better get out there. And I said, what happened? The inning didn't even start. But we went out there, and he couldn't open his he couldn't open his hand. It was just kind of closed. I don't know if he was uh, dehydrated or whatever, but uh, uh, I don't think it's a serious issue. Hey, what kind of the emotions like there? You were on the verge of a, a crisp, sort of well-played 3 nothing win, and you end up with a kind of gutsy, dramatic win. What's kind of the... I like it. It's great for the fans, you know, especially when you win. So I, I was <laughs> really happy about the, the drama. Now, actually, it's not, <laughs> you know, it's, you don't like to see that. You just hope uh, that you don't have to go through that. But as I said, you know, the first game we played here, coming back from a 7 to nothing deficit and almost winning that game was huge, gave us momentum. We took it into yesterday, and then you, today I uh, had that lead and, and blew it, and it's not, it's not something you want to see. You put up 17 last night. Is it more satisfying, though, to have a grinded out win against a guy like Strasburg? Well, that, th exactly. I mean, that's what, I, what I'm saying is, um, you know, it, we built momentum, and it's kind of, you kind of like the fact that the guys battled back. And we almost, we were like the, the winning run was at home plate with the wind blowing out to right field. That was uh, a momentum builder. And then yesterday, of course, was a lot of fun. And uh, today was special because we beat them. Uh, after scoring that many runs, you kind of expect, uh, you, you don't know what to expect. But to beat these guys two out of three, it could have swept them, is huge for our team. You, you face Strasburg, and if you look at the list of pitchers, you got face, you're going to face coming up. Is that how you prove what you are as a team by beating? Guys like without question, you know, um, Strasburg is a real good pitcher. Obviously, Scherzer. Um, uh, what can I say? You just uh, we like to win. We like to win every game, and it, it gives us momentum going into the Mets, who you know handled us pretty well last year, as as did the Nationals, and hopefully uh, we're gonna we're gonna beat the uh, the Mets this year. What kind of balance do you have to strike being just a week into the season and possibly making a change? Circumstances. Well, we just have to do what we have to do. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm going to talk to John Mar tomorrow. Tomorrow, I didn't uh, talk to him today, and uh, we'll, I'll have something for you tomorrow. We'll see where we're going to go. We're going to discuss it. Um, it's not something you want to think about, but uh, you know, we just have to be practical, and we have to do what's best for the team. And we'll 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 just see. We'll have we'll know tomorrow. Are you talking to him? It sounds like you're strongly considering making a change. Well, I'm considering it. And um, I think that's about all I can say right now. Were you impressed by Mathis? Seemed to have a pretty good approach uh, just in those two games that he's played so far. Yeah, he looked good behind the plate. Uh, he hit that. He got his first major league hit off of Strasburg, which is pretty impressive. I mean, that, that that's something he, he'll be proud of. Uh, handled himself well. I thought he was going to. Uh, well, I wanted him to get that bunt down, but he. I was hoping he'd hit the three and two pitch somewhere. Uh, and I think. Uh, you know, I told Stassi, I told him before the inning started, he was going to be the hero. He, he let me down there. <laughs>
No, but I'm, I'll probably play Stassi at first base tomorrow to get him some at-bats. i got to get these guys sharp. What do you feel like your defense had to do with this? You, I mean, they weren't – Highlight real, real, but you made it some well, we play played a clean game. You know, any time you play a clean game and you're you're competing and you're you're in the game, is what you, what a manager wants to see. And then you get it, you get your opportunities to win games. And if you get a hit, you win games. If you don't, you lose. And we won today. The opposing team might look at, you know, they face Benoit Ramos, uh, Neris. They all have great stuff, like wipeout stuff. And then, not that they look at Gomez as. Lesser Todd, don't don't go there. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, John Mark closed thirty. He saved thirty-seven games last year. You know, so let's just wait till tomorrow and see what happens. With the way this week kind of went for you guys, it's kind of reflective of what you did. Sometimes you fall to a seven-nothing hole, you almost win, and then today you almost almost lose the game. Then you come back. Is that kind of the up and downs of having a young? Without question, you know, um, we were we were competitive all three games. That's all I can ask for, you know. But I don't know. Yesterday was one of those games that you, you end up on that side of the score, sometimes on the other side. And uh, but what I'm most pleased with is the three games in com- combined, where we came back from from we, where nobody thought we'd win. We had a chance to win. We won big yesterday, and we, and we held on today and, and won a tough. That's a tough ball t- uh, ball club, and to beat them two out of three and almost almost sweep them was huge. Pete Neris has obviously had a lot of success in the eighth inning, and does his the value that of getting four big outs there in a high leverage situation before the ninth does that impact the consideration of moving him at all? Or? Yeah, we we're, we're going to discuss it tonight and go from there.